1941, he was fortunate enough to meet L.C.D. Wolf. And uh, if you believe in creative visualization, his mother used to say to him when he was a child, if you work really hard, someday you'll be good enough to paint roses on lampshades for Lady Mendel, L.C.D. Wolf. And so, of course, Elsie had seen a, a table centerpiece that he had made for the decorator James Pendleton, and she got his phone number. She said, whoever made this centerpiece is a genius, and I want his number. She had bought a house in Beverly Hills when her house at Versailles was taken over as Nazi headquarters, and she wanted to be with the royalty of America, which were the movie stars. So, so she was there. Tony was working at Bullock's department stores, and his job was to make the store change seasons so that it was summer, winter, spring, and fall on the interior, since in California there really aren't any seasons. And when the operator called, he was working at Bullock's, and the operator called and said, Lady Mendel calling. He thought it was a practical joke, but it was really her. And she did influence him tremendously. She introduced him to all of her friends in Europe. She arranged for him to have a one-man exhibition at the Louvre in 1951. Um, she never stopped calling him a genius, and she never stopped pushing him to create and to... Um, but she gave him total freedom as well. She spoke French with a Brooklyn accent, and the first meeting she said to him, I want you to make me a moible, and I want it to be green and black and jeweled and this and that and the other thing, and he took notes like crazy. And when she left the room, he turned to her secretary, Hilda West, and he said, what's a moible? And she said, it's a great piece of furniture. Lady Mendel feels that every room should have one great piece of furniture. And I think that's what we've sort of done here for Baker. There are individual pieces. Each one is great. And each one can be the jewel in the room, the important piece, the conversation piece that you know, designers will use as, as punctuation marks. And I think it's, it's an exciting and, and, and very um, well-edited uh, collection.